Therefore, holy brethren who are partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and thee, the high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus, this who was faithful to him who appointed him as Moses also was faithful in all of his house. This one was counted more worthy of glory than Moses in as much as he who built the house has more honor than the house itself does have every house is built by someone but he who built all things is Yahweh God the Creator and Moses indeed was most faithful in all of his house as servant this because his testimony of those things would later be spoken and as a type and shadow of Christ Jesus then to come. But Christ as a son over his own house Whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and rejoicing of thee, this hope firm to thee in therefore as the Holy Spirit says today if you'll hear his voice do not harden your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness your fathers where they tested me and proved me, saw my works forty years, therefore I was angry with that generation and said, astray they'll always be in their heart and they have not known my ways in it i swear my wrath they shall not enter in to my rest and beware brethren that there not be at all in any of you there an evil heart of unbelief withdrawing from his care the living God exhort each one daily one another while it is still called today that not any of you be hardened through the deceit of sin.
him in its deceitfulness. For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold fast to the start of our foundation, beginning of our faith. Steadfast and steady to the end, while it is said today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the provocation for some who came out of Egypt when through Moses, however, not all having heard did provoke. With whom was he angry? Forty years was it not with those who sinned, whose corpses fell in the wilderness and with them was he angry forty years was is not with those who sinned whose corpses fell in wilderness whom he did swear that they would not enter his rest but those of whom did not obey so from all this we do then see that they could not enter into the promised land because this unbelief of theirs.